The rolling hills of Spain feature familiar idyllic scenes of picnicking families, frolicking sheep, and uh, some pretty amazingly large rabbits. On top of them, an awful lot of pandas. And on top of all of that, tens of thousands of tech enthusiasts. Because this display here at the MWC in Barcelona highlights the precision camera capabilities of Huawei's Mate 60 phone. But it also serves as a useful reminder of the wider tech environment link. Digitalization increasingly underpins inclusivity and sustainability, and digital skills development are therefore critical for the future of our societies and economies. And that's where Friedrich Hubler and Soledad Patino both come in. Education training and skills experts at UNESCO, they spoke here at a Huawei Green Development Summit, and I asked them afterwards what their primary message and goal had been. I would say that um, the climate crisis is clearly, I would say, the key challenge that we face as a society today. And to solve this challenge, we need green skills and we need digital skills in the workforce. And uh, we believe that through events like the uh, summit today, we can raise awareness of the necessity to invest in both green and digital skills. So skills development is crucial for sustainable development and of, cor of course for more inclusive and, um, and equitable economies. UNESCO is committed to SDG4 as a leading agency for education. And in this sense, we believe that uh, technology is key to enable um, more um, ICT skills to individuals and empower them. And how important is ICT in assisting global literacy and talent development? ICT is crucial because it impacts every aspect of life, not just education, as I was referring, but also employability and or overall economical development. So in this sense, uh, it is crucial for us to address uh, the power of technology and see how we can leverage initiatives uh, that uh, enhances uh, skills development for particularly for uh, the, the populations that are more uh, in, in need. In this sense, uh, we really try to address uh, employability skills um, digital for this and the private sector alliances are crucial as well. Uh, I talked earlier about the fact that we have to find solutions for uh, the global climate crisis and many of the solutions will make use of technology therefore it's, it's necessary for us to have a workforce that has the skills both green skills and digital literacy to apply technology and to find solutions to uh, that will make our economies and societies more greener. And so when you're looking to find these solutions, how important are partnerships with private sector, with industry, such as Huawei, for instance? Uh, these partnerships are extremely important. We need uh, solutions that involve all uh, members of society. That means from government, civil society, social partners, the private sector, labor unions, anyone has to work together to find these solutions. But the private sector also has the resources and the creativity and to invest and to find some of the solutions that we need to, um, for example, find uh, ways of uh, greener ways of production and consumption. So we really can only do that with the private sector. Yeah, in private sector uh, is a key actor in, in our way to achieve sustainable development goals. And in this sense, a uh, private actor can bring, of course, the expertise that they have, but also the understanding and the knowledge of the, these very fast uh, evolving, changing uh, labor markets. In that sense, uh, for us, uh, the initiatives that are the private sector is really collaborating uh, to advance are the ones that are involved in training and in that sense uh, let's say this constant evolution and work together is fundamental for the transitions from school to work. And th there is one thing I wanted to add about to what uh, Soledad said about the role of the private sector. I represent Univox so it's UNESCO Center for Technical and Vocation Education and Training and TVET can take place in both public and private settings, so there are public institutions where uh, students are trained, but also 
Uh, much of the training also takes place in private enterprises. Therefore, when we talk about the skills that youth need, that the workforce needs, the kind of challenges that for which we want to find, solu find solutions, it's really important to have both the public and the private sector at the same table. So that's another very important role of uh, private institutions and enterprises. And talking of getting those skills to young people, particularly in underserved areas, because the, the important thing with skills, the important thing with access to connectivity is it's equitable and therefore it's universal. How does UNESCO go about ensuring you're reaching those underserved areas and you're reaching those young people? Yes, indeed. If you think about Sustainable Development Goal 4, it's about education for all. So uh, keeping in mind, UNESCO keeps always in mind that we have to give access to all members of society. That includes women and girls, persons with disability, refugees and migrants. So this is something that is an integral component of all of our programs. Uh, at Uniborg, for example, we try to highlight successful examples of projects and activities and training programs that pay attention to the specific needs of some of these um, underserved groups, such as women and girls, refugees and migrants, and we showcase them in our activities so that they can serve as an inspiration to other members of the global Tibet community. And so that? So an example of uh, initiatives to us advance SDG4 is the UNESCO Global Education Coalition uh, that was confirmed uh, during COVID pandemic. And one initiative that is leading on connectivity and particularly addressing to youth in underserved uh, populations and also vulnerable populations is the Global Skills Academy. And the Global Skills Academy has the objective of uh, supporting 10 million people in line with UNESCO strategy for Tibet 2022-2029. And we work together for this with the private sector to deliver training uh, opportunities to enhance skills development and to actually have uh, better employability.